everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music back with another instrument demo for you. So today I have the Khan 62HI bass trombone. So the 62 Khan has been the flagship um, bass trombone of the Khan line for you know well over 20, 25 years. Uh, they have a couple different models. They have you know the 112H, um, which is also a you know dual independent setup, a little bit bigger bell. But the 62 has really again been kind of the go-to bass trombone for a lot of folks who like the con style, you know, weight, response and everything in bass trombone form. So the 62HI has a 562 bore, um, nine and a half inch uh, rose brass bell, rose brass tuning slide, uh, rose brass outer tubes with nickel silver crook. So again, all of the same features we're used to seeing in the 88H, just a little bit larger. Um, it does have a dual independent rotors as well here. Um, one of the things that is nice with the 62HI is it does come with interchangeable lead pipes. So uh, we, it comes with three different lead pipes. So I'm gonna play for you a little bit today. I'm gonna be using the D lead pipe, the most open of the three lead pipes, and I'm playing this on a standard Bach 2G. <laughs> What I noticed right off the bat with this bass trombone is that it is really quite responsive, especially with the little bit bigger lead pipe. Um, I played it with the smaller lead pipes, and for myself, it feels a little bit tight. Now, a lot of bass trombone players experience this, especially with the inline you know, double rotors like this. I think the, the little bit larger lead pipe, for me, really balances out more sometimes than it does for other you know, similar instruments with interchangeable lead pipes. So I find it to be really, really responsive. For me, it doesn't get as spread out and thin in the upper register as do, you know, some others do. Now, it does experience a little bit of that, but I still feel like I'm able to get you know, the, the, the high tenor range above the staff to really still sing you know, in a lot of ways. Um, and I really like kind of the balance of you know, quickness and response and projection in the lower register. Now, this is not an instrument that is going to work as well in large ensemble situations, large you know, orchestral situations. It's not, you know, for a lot of players, it's not gonna have that breadth of sound that we're looking for. And it may be just a little bit sharp responding, a little bit spanky almost in you know, how quickly the attack happens. But I can see this working really well as a soloistic instrument, as a, um, like a small ensemble instrument, you know, for example, brass quintet, something like this, this could work really nicely balancing with everything else. Um, and especially this price point um, with here. So at this point, we're sitting just a little bit over, you know, $4,100. There aren't a ton of options right in that range. We're definitely, you know, there's, there's options below it. There's certainly options above it, but this is kind of kind of a real, a real intermediate kind of level point. And again, I think it's a really nice playing instrument for the money. Um, one of the things I did notice is they've changed up the uh, paddle mechanism here a little bit. Um, since the last time I played, I actually like this. I find the setup here really, really comfortable overall. And so again, the ergonomics make a lot of sense as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video here. Um, let us know what you heard. If you have experience with 62H or if you, you know, had some thoughts about what you heard in the video today, think about leaving those in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving it a thumbs up. If this is the first video you've watched from us, think about subscribing to our channel. We're always trying to create new, fresh content like this. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So thanks as always for watching.